And now new information as the Adams County Board approved a budget for fiscal year 23 at Tuesday's meeting. Revenues are expected to be some $55.76 million, while expenses will be nearly $61.5 million. That's up from last year's budget revenues of $52.4 million and expenses of nearly $57 million. Even though it appears the county is engaging in deficit spending, it's it's not due to carryover money from previous budgets for items like American Rescue Plan Act dollars and also because of older accounting software. Budget Committee Chairman Brett Austin says overall the county is in a good spot. And now continuing coverage as a Tuesday was the first day of the long-awaited Travis Wiley trial at the Adams County Courthouse. The trial dates back to an incident back on January 20th, 2018, when Travis Wiley was accused of shaking two, a two-month-year-old to death. A total of seven witnesses came to the stand today. Uh, came to the stand yesterday, including the family, officers on the scene of the incident, and a doctor who cared for them. Adams County State's Attorney John Bernard says that Aaron, Aaron, Ariana and had no prior health issues before the incident. And now happening in Quincy News, the registration deadline for the Salvation Army community Thanksgiving dinner is quickly approaching. The deadline is Friday, November 17th. When calling to make a reservation, attendees will need to make a reservation for 11 a.m. or 11.45 a.m. Walk-ins are welcome, but reservations are highly recommended. If ordering delivery, you will need to provide your name, number of meals, and address. The meal will be served at the Croc Center and will consist of a traditional Thanksgiving dinner with turkey and all the trimmings. And now in other Quincy news, Quincy Notre Dame Athletics has announced the launch of the Raider Sports Network. This network will live stream QND basketball games beginning this season. Athletic director of the school, Bill Connell, says it was the right time to create an athletic streaming option and that they are luckily, lucky for the sponsors they have to share their vision. The Raider Sports Network will begin with the 2023-2024 QND varsity boys and girls basketball seasons. Eric Irvin will serve as the voice of the Raiders for the network. Home basketball games in the pit will be live streamed and include video and audio coverage by Irvin. Away games will include live audio coverage only. Now sponsors for the live streaming coverage include Quincy Recycle, Quincy Catholic Elementary Schools, Refreshment Services, Pepsi, and Shotton Kirk Automotive Group. Group. And now happening in your community, a tradition since since 1893, the Frank Ford First Christian Church is hosting its annual old-fashioned turkey dinner and bazaar Saturday, November 18th from 4 to 7 p.m. Now the menu for the dinner includes turkey, homemade dressing, real mashed potatoes, gravy, green beans, homegrown Pike County sweet corn, hot rolls, your cho choice of pie or cake, and so much more. Now, all the proceeds from the dinner and bazaar benefit the ongoing restoration of the church's 32 stained glass windows. Well, tickets to the dinner are $15 per person with children five and under eating for free. Tickets can be purchased at the door. Carryouts are available. Curbside pickup is also available.